know oh, wow. about strength. We actually went upstairs, but now we're also at ground level again. Yeah. <laughs> Interesting, eh? Uh, it's like so used to living in Louisiana where there's not any upstairs. <laughs> wow, and what's, what's that? This is the oven. This is what's heating up the room right now. Um, and this is to cure the ink. Because the ink we use is oil based, so it has to be heat cured. So this is literally an oven. It's at 450 degrees. It's just one big conveyor belt, as you can see. And you just put it on. You put the wet shirt on, and it comes out dry. Right. Ready to wear. And how many, how many uh, students are, are uh, these come through, kind of come through this part of the tripod? It varies, but um, we, this past summer I had two interns. That were steady. Yeah, they were through a group called Workforce Connection that hooks up uh, high school graduates with skilled labor jobs. So, kind of get them interested in what kind of positions are out there? Um, what about t-shirt design? All, what about, it's um, sort of part of the programming of... Um, yeah, so I've got a picture of Nigel, but I don't have a picture of Jordan. They were both my interns. Nigel came back for a second year. This is his first year working for me. And all nice. days, you know, I had him put him in the garden. And I have a garden as well? Yeah, it's actually right off the window. Yeah. It's a little overgrown right now, uh -huh. but um, yeah, so yeah, it's like, like carousel. And what's that This is our automatic press. So this is what I usually use, but today we'll be doing a uh, manual press. Manual press is what we started with um, five or six years ago, and then they were lucky enough to have the automatic press donated to them. And this is a much more professional tool. Um, in a bigger shop, you'd have two or three of these being manned by two or three people at all times. You can knock out you know, large orders rapidly. Um, this is only like 70 shirts, so it's not too big an order. It's, not, it's just one that's kind of one hit. So, I'm zoomed in. Ah! Uh, <laughs> and we're backlit. <laughs> okay, so. Any chance there's a safety pin around on? Brad, do you have a safety pin? Or another apron? Oh, there's one. Oh, great. There you go. Look, oh, that's a cool one, too. I just printed that one. Um, all right. So, what do we do? Okay, so this is the press we're going to be working on. And since I usually don't work in this press and don't have to out our feng shui, how we want to, where we want to put the shirts, and how we want to stand, I guess. Yes, we can maybe let's bring that table over to so where that part is now. This table right here? Yeah, that table right there. Ooh, yeah. Yeah. Hey, I'm in two. Okay, there we go. 
the mesh go, but the more detail we have um, And then, let's see, we also got a couple of holes uh, and things to take a look at. Thank 
not working out. They're hot and you stand by this oven with all the heat. <laughs> so like in, in July and August, that's you know, not, <laughs> not the most coveted job. Okay. So that's the basic difference between the two sheets. Um, and this is much more common than kind of these advantages that you see. And this kind of so, I think the way to do this would be to have, there won't be too much, too much need to be shipping and turning all these things. I think we'll just have the screen set up right here.
in on top of the, uh, the blank mesh to begin to see through. And uh, it'll kind of overflow.
<laughs> so hi, can I talk? Hi everybody, we're at Tribe One here in Knoxville and one of the ways that they are creating economic opportunities and self-sustainment is by doing a silkscreen operation and so today we're going to combine Microfest and Tribe One's two big assets um, which is silk screening and gathering and we are as part of our workshop producing the original t-shirts that will be um, on sale later for Microfester folks um, talking about our national Microfest series so here's the beautiful this is our test print um, and um, at the far end of the loft you can see folks that are getting ready to run about 70 shirts um, I think our big question is can we run 70 shirts in 30 minutes because this is a fast-moving group field trip and show. And so our scene today is silk screen. Thank you for joining us.
It's harder than it looks, but it's very fun. Hey, uh, we're at uh, Tribe One and we're making these amazing shirts. Uh, so one of the things that Tribe One does, you may already know this, is that this is they work with youth from across uh, the city of Knoxville. And this is some youth development entrepreneurial uh, work that they do. So people come here and this is partly how they fund their organization because they don't want to rely too much on foundations. So they, um, they have this income generating um, program. That includes these t-shirts that we are making live out on the, the spot, out of the, the oven, literally. Um, so uh, it's pretty cool. It's really fun. It's a little, um, you get a little nervous because you're probably going to do it wrong. But it's, uh, but it's a lot of fun. And uh, the folks at Tribe One have been super generous for Tinet and the Microfest. And so uh, we're selling these Microfest shirts and the proceeds are being donated to the Microfest. Uh, so that's really generous. Uh, and so we just want to give a shout out to Tribe One for uh, the generosity. So uh, if y'all are in Knoxville, come, um, come to Tribe One. Thank you. Yeah.
shirts and county. Perfect. All right. Anytime you can. All right. Good morning, right. afternoon, or evening, wherever you may be viewing right. us. We're here in Knoxville, Tennessee. Uh, the Microfest is here today in, in uh, Harlan, Kentucky. We're back here. So uh, we're actually at Tribe One, which is a community based organization. It looks at uh, how to uh, both impact the lives of youth. In many ways, be sure to uh, take the time that a young person has and the energy that a young person has and develop that and move it into something positive or to take what positive they're doing and add to it. Tribe One has a screen printing machine, a couple of them, one a manual machine and one an automatic machine. You've probably seen both of them as they were being explained. A little bit of history about Tribe One. The founder of Tribe One is a gentleman City Councilman here, a real youth activist uh, named Danny Mayfield. He came to Knoxville from Camden, New Jersey. As I stated a little bit earlier, he was a president of his freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior class, graduated top of the class, and decided he wanted to start a ministry when he got out of uh, college, and Tribe One ultimately ended up being his ministry. Uh, 
fortunate in many ways, he adopted me as his father, which is uh, Africa for father. So and then when I met his father and his uncle and his other male members of the family, I saw the similarities in what he grew up with. So, but this uh, tribe one has been continuing since that time. That was in the 90s when it was formed. And now we're in 2012 and it's growing and accelerating. And Makia, who is the executive director now, she's always interested in seeing that uh, it goes uh, further and uh, even recapture some of the original kind of concepts that Tribe One has. So, welcome to Knoxville, welcome to Tribe One, and when you get a chance to come this way, wherever you may be, stop in our town and visit us both at Tribe One and also at our offices uh, on Gay Street. All right, thank you. Thank you. Are they passing the test? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Sorting them by size? No. Oh. But I can. This one's a medium. That'd be good to keep them. Yeah. Makes it easier to So this program earns money? It does.
try to keep track of the Yeah. 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 Time here is coming to a close, and I'm going to go screen print some shirts. So we'll catch you hopefully at 1.30 p.m. for the plenary at the Emporium Center in Knoxville.